Hey there, I've had another fantastic question come through from Sarah who asked, Sam, why do I need to identify my ideal customer? Does it really matter that much? Now, fantastic question, Sarah, and probably one of my favorite ones because this particular topic is a really close one to both Greg and me. And the reason for this is because it formulates everything that we do in our business. And we can see the clear difference between those that have identified their ideal customer and those that haven't. Let me put it this way. When you have a look at anyone who is highly successful in their business, specifically, let's look at direct sellers for a moment. One thing that you'll notice about those people that are top leaders in your business is that they are unashamedly themselves. But it's not just that they're being unashamedly themselves, it's that they are unashamedly serving a very specific group of people. And these leaders are generally people who also know that if someone doesn't like how they show up, if someone doesn't like what they do, if someone doesn't like their method of doing things, they're simply not their ideal customer and they brush it off like water off a duck's back. Now, I just want to talk for a moment about the pain that comes in when we don't do this. When we try to please everybody, we end up pleasing nobody. And I am telling you this from personal experience. For many, many years in my business, I worked really hard at trying to keep everybody happy. And can I just tell you, it's a daily journey for me because I want everyone to like me. I want everyone to be happy. But the reality is I can't do that. The day that we made the decision to stop working with every other industry and focus entirely on direct selling was the day that I started to feel true joy in everything that I did every day. The reason was because I was no longer trying to please people. I was never put here to please. It's a little bit like if you walk in a room, it's a party, there's loads of people there. You know that you are not meant to connect with everyone in that room. It's not possible. So as you're walking around and you're trying to find someone to talk to, you know that you're looking for a particular type of a person that you will naturally connect with. And it's very much the same when it comes to your ideal customer. Now, when it comes to social media and getting to know your ideal customer, if you try to put posts out there that everyone loves, again, no one's going to pay attention. So it is really key to getting to know your ideal customer intimately because it will help you put content out there on social media that draws them in specifically, that they love that they just cannot help but stop on. You know what I'm talking about because when you pay attention to what other people do, when they grab your attention, they've done exactly that to you and you operate in exactly the same way. Can I just tell you right now that when you get to know who your ideal customer is, not only will you experience so much more joy in your business, but the workload will become so much easier. The strategy will be so much easier to to line up and have laid out for you. Your business will be easier to run. You will get greater results far quicker than what you've ever had before. And you're going to love every minute of it. If you've got people that are looking for blood, sweat and tears for their money, they're probably not the people that were designed to work with you. So just remember that when you try to please everybody, you end up pleasing nobody. When you create content for everybody, you end up creating content for nobody. And really, you are wasting your time. So yeah, I'm a massive fan of identifying who your ideal customer is, but not for them. It's for you because it's going to help you grow your business. It's going to help you have more joy in your business. And it's going to be so much easier to do both of those things. So in a nutshell, really important to identify who you're reaching. I hope that this has been helpful, Sarah. Guys, keep your questions coming in. I love answering those questions for you. I hope that this has been helpful for you today. Look forward to seeing you in here again very soon. Bye for now. You've been asking us loads of awesome questions. And if you'd love to get more of this, then join us inside of our Facebook group where we're going to spend more time helping you up your game on social media for your direct selling business. Join us on the inside. Click on the link below.